I'm sure my zingi mingi zita kanganya kanganya kwa kidogo tuendelee nayo wakati mziki imerudishwa this is a uh, the Reggae Fest. Welcome back from that show break. I hope you enjoying the show. I hope mna jibama mkonyo mane mmesikia. This is our super M introduce. You are the new face in this in this little committee. Would you introduce Kwanza? Yo viewers at home kwa majina ni kutoka Meru, Jabal Nation. Wait. wait. <laughs> Nasema <laughs> lazima wakilishe mbidi na Mpesa. Yo. Vikanga unajua mtu akitoa jina yake usanii, alafu atoe yake ya 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 ID. Hebu tuambie sasa ya usanii. Jina ya usanii ni gani? Ah, ya usanii yenyewe ni Hype Man Ayu mwenyewe. Ah. Yo yo yake iko sawa, maana ni small. Unajua sima ni jindi tunakwenda jinafanya fanya tukile kwa jina hili. Yeye ndo what? Mzake alikuwa anaona different future from the DJ. Jina ya Christ wewe. Each and every Saturday from 10 p.m. You're going to find us here. The hashtag has been a regular fest. We are we legalize, we regularize each and everything. And DJ Tombia, everything, every other music that's related to reggae. Hope Miss Kim Tara when you may flow any music that my head is just music. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. No, no. I can reggae fest this Saturday. Mr. Hype Man is all hype. Zao. Hey, Siji Kama, you do this. Jini. Ulko many a mulio. Me as an idea. Drink to another Kipala. So I expect the Mona 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 to a dance hall. Your guest is coming on this artist of the week. Who are we going to be touching on this week? DJ and I are to pay a gear to my boy number three to can a kupanda kupanda kupanda. Not to my issue now, Bamba Tafalali. Give, keep, keep, keep the comment section going. We want to see some fire and some love emoji. DJ, mm -hmm. a lot of things have been making headlines. Like, any just at a stagic who queen Lily at yours, Juni, may happen, any may happen. Together, you should mention what were ex. Sindio? I want Kidogo kidogo tumekula sherehe kidogo kidogo tumekunywa pombe na nini na kaimati. Ule mzee wako mwenye akokuwa kibanda kaki hapo hivyo anatusaidia kusukuma maisha. Eh, anatusaidia kusukuma maisha. Watu kama au mzee mimi mimi mkifunga TikTok mimi itabidi tu walani ndio safi. Small na mzee wa amepea na opinion. What do you think? What do you think about this topic of ati wanafikiria kama wanaweza ban TikTok? Ah, kwanza hiyo hiyo wazo sio fit kabisa. Kwa sababu tukiangalia pale kuna wasi wanatoa unga pale. Mhm. Ukiangalia the likes of Kina Ziad na na other au wengine. Like kuna watu wana live na TikTok. Kama mimi personally najua. Cuz I think they should eradicate hizi vitu mbaya like hizo immoral ambazo walikuwa wame highlight. Ndio like wanafaa or ban like restrict hizo kwa zina flow kwa kwa hiyo nini. Si ati kufunga TikTok mzee. Tuma vijana nyumbani na kuna wax mzee. Unajua at the end of the day sahi kila kitu inakuwa digital. No. Alafu social media it's bringing it. I think ni kama gavana saya itaki kitu ina 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 overtime kila kitu. By the way, like for example, tu mepua pana Instagram, tu mepua pana WhatsApp. Kuna time alikuwa taka funga ta WhatsApp. Kuna kumbuka 2016 ile wakati wa Matian. Matian yuko ndani wa likuwa ni ya. Exactly. So I, I think what I've just realized kwa gavo ataki kitu ina ina overthrow kitu yenye imekuwa unaona okay. like for example talking last social media tumekuwa na Instagram sasa hii hata tuko na threads and <laughs> <laughs> um, but how about the threads so let's talk about number make sure you follow us on threads lakini like, sasa everybody's joining thread hata kama kuna kitu na post mhm mm some so and so joined thread now unajua hizi vitu zinakuja tu wa like tukiangalia TikTok TikTok sasa hii imetuweka tukakuwa kwa limelight sana kabisa imetuweka tumejua wasekaki kina MC Gogo yenye sasa hii wanakula kwa grao sasa mzee kama Priscilla Waimani sasa hii namfatanga pale akipiga ndugu akipiga MC pale unaona watu kama unaona so unapata kama at least TikTok imefanya alafu shida tena uzuri wa TikTok kama baya imetoa wengine kazi imetoa kina nani tena imetoa wengine kazi wacha tuangalie unaona msai kama let me just do comparison siku hizo nasikia kama msai kama MC Trick yeye Trick Trick amepotea Trick amepotea so unapata watu kama pia walikuja wakasaulika wakati TikTok ilikuja ika hit unaona true true so unapata kama tuna kama na wave nyingine tofauti 
but on that note mm-hmm. smaller don't you think personally what i've noted mm-hmm. uh, kwanza kwa wasanii kila mtu mwenye anauza kazi yake mostly ni nitaji social media mm-hmm. all they're doing kama uliko me hit sana maybe on youtube ama on instagram mm-hmm. you take your content you bring it to, to tiktok mm-hmm. cuz at the end of the day e platform it mm-hmm. a lot of youngsters na kama content yako ni ya youngsters unafaa kutunishia hapo kidogo kidogo ndio pia sisi tumeke sure we are just keeping up with you is it imewatoa kazi ama wao ndo wameshindwa kukipa alafu i don't know what tiktok does eh? mm-hmm. tiktok ina grow faster kushinda hizi ngine all other ina social media faster true mm, sijui ni kama walikuja ile idea status <laughs> <laughs> una post status so, unakumbuka kile kitabu tu kipost status unasikia vitu zinafanyika kwa status lakini true lakini sawa tu anyway, anyway mm-hmm. tiktok itaku bana bantu zile vitu zenye azitusaidi ukweli <laughs> i really agree on that note <laughs> i really really agree on that note mm-hmm. kwa sababu man kutukuban tiktok cuz most actually women women say adwa to eat mm-hmm. but we say wako tiktok wako tiktok wanafunzi wa kudance style of development sasa mm-hmm. sijui when you remove this platform but ubaya pia when umesema oh, tiktok is really bringing everything to the, to to light mm-hmm. anything trending sayo utaipata race sana mm-hmm. on tiktok So at the end of the day Gavata Fadali you're going to umiza a lot of the youth many people who are using the platform to earn because the amount of money which some people earn from that TikTok awezi pata hiyo kazi na hiyo hapa sio ni kweli I think that this was just making TikTok to be famous sio ni kama ata I hope <laughs> I hope you're just making the TikTok to be more famous. Be famous. Kabisa. Eh, kabisa kabisa. Twende sente ngine. Na na DJ. Mm-hmm. Mimi nataka turudi kwa hiyo flow. Mm-hmm. No, na tukis tukis tukisoma my head was just music music imetuli sarudisha kwa hiyo flow. Mm-hmm. But hey, let me just ask uh, are you so are you? So are you? Mm-hmm. So, uh, like tukiangalia for example reggae sai tukiangalia reggae tukiangalia tu reggae music. Mm-hmm. Tukienda Kenya. Unajua wasanii wanapiga reggae Kenya? Uh, reggae reggae Kenya najua kadhaa najua mm. kadhaa mm-hmm. yes najua kadhaa na nikia, ni, ukiangalia hiyo wave ya wenye wanajaribu kujipush kwa hiyo reggae ya Kenya unaona like wanapiga wana kazi safi ama tu ni kujisukuma na kina awaleti shangwe ndio kina waelewa <laughs> nyameshikilia industry from back in the day exactly mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. okay uki okay uki uki okay, 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 first of all five compare mm-hmm. but pia comparison ni poa cuz ina ina kind of ina trigger kitu fulani mm-hmm. So okay wako fit but uh, wana need to push more harder kwa sababu ukisikia kazi zile kina mama Fatuma mm-hmm. eh yes, sisi ni song ya kitabu but bado inatesa mpaka sasa hizi mm-hmm. then pia watu waje invest sana kwa reggae na reggae ni ngoma yenye iko like ni zone nyingine iko fit sana mm-hmm. i i i hiishi haraka like iko na ile kama moment fulani mm-hmm. unacheki sasa so they have to wanafaa invest more kwa reggae ya yeah, wache kuni sana kwa kapuka ni should that also try reggae reggae ina peak kwa sawa kabisa kabisa lafu pia tunapata tukiangalia bado Kenya tuko tuko na only one reggae band moja <laughs> <laughs> only <laughs> one reggae band mhm ambapo mtu akishtuka tu msanii wa reggae ikuja pale aseme leo niko Kenya hiyo hey. tu the, the only invites we the have the only invite we have <laughs> the rest of uh, ambapo uh, ambapo tuseme tuseme siku moja mtu watu watu watatu wamekuwa wagonjwa kwa hiyo reggae kumaanisha hiyo band haitafanya kazi Chris Martin aikuja Kenya wow 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 wow, wow. so no. mtu aseme tu ati tunakohoa hatuna sauti show ina show ina console <laughs> we should just invest in reggae but the reggae music reggae music ni kama but they come kisikiza reggae music imejaza na education not true imejaza na education so we should kama wa Kenya we should totally invest in reggae unaona like tunapata pale fires <laughs> na baba yake oh yeah but they, that that kid actually they can be a very growing up when mm-hmm. you are bringing yamepewa kwanza from a very young when yeye ni mdogo by the time ana get to a teenage level to a uh, afikata early 20s mm-hmm. this person should actually anafaa kwa me hit kama star because hii ni kitu yenye ameanza kuimpactiwa from a very young age this person is mentored mm-hmm. so by the time anakuja anafika early 20s nini anafaa kuwa a very known register mm-hmm. na tafadhali to hope at our roots zetu <laughs> don't live it's ours now we as reggae fest don't live our roots because you are the representative who will want Mm-hmm. in the future in mm-hmm. the reggae industry ama ni ajidi eh, kabisa kabisa alafu na cheki pia savara pia ameanza kuleta wave vingine hapa ya reggae mhm mhm yeah. ile kuna lengo maana yake yenye alitolea iko 
inakaa local reggae atas mm. ni jaja ni reggae ya kinyozi tunatana tuna tuna ndio hiyo that has been our artist of the week and this week we have been reco- we have been featuring none other than Chris Martin this legend this artist umse mama zake i'm sure mmesikia mbili tatu mbili tatu na i'm sure hizo ngoma mmezitambua i hope hiyo dj mm-hmm. what can you say about Chris Martin Tumia tu kitu mmoja yenye wewe unakaa unasema huyu musician anamfanya. Unasikiza hiyo Pepa Love? Mhm. Eh, Nakwambia hiyo nasikia anga tu mpaka nasema inanikumbusha siku siku. Ai 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 na nilijua tu. Inanikumbusha maenzi. Hapana uh-huh. hufai kujua. Inanikumbusha maenzi. Uh-huh. So nikisikia tu hiyo ngoma. First introduction yake. Unifanya ile kitu. Lakini in the meantime kazi safi hapo Christopher Martin. Oh, beza, beza. This week we've been we've been featuring the guy. Na kama ulikuwa umepata kwa comment section kwa sababu comment nimepata kina Joseph Pinto akitwambia ati kina Taras. Sijua kina nani. Muuma nje lakini that has been our artist. But say DJ, mm-hmm. let me just give the motivation mm-hmm. of this week. Oh, na by the way, let me touch on some of the news that have been in making headlines. Shinsia has actually been she's actually earned her first certification in the US. Kumanisha our girl is actually doing it well. She's actually representing us. Now, on this other I remember some few months ago we were talking about mental health and Jada Kingdom was actually I'm a semi depression has actually was actually what led to her weight loss journey. So tafadhali when you see some of these artists out here unasema kwa fiti kesho kesho maybe unapata this person is kai venye mlikuwa mnataka nini nini nini. Remember depression is real. We were talking about mental health awareness. Uh, and some was it look match up with mommy small it around me, may have with so sai tafadhali it's coming and it's being said again like in this small this one caught my attention where zimbabweans politicians are using dance hall to woe young voters so kama watu wa zimbabwe sai ndo wakati wenu imewadia join us here at science tv the reggae fest we are about to give you some good dance or music vile in afa dj on our on our motivation let me give our viewers some motivation something which is going to take you through this week we have you must be the change you wish to see in the world and i take it again you must be the change you wish to see in the world so tafadhali so, dj mm-hmm. do you agree with this what do you think what do you think you must be the change you want to see in the world automatically hawezi kaa tu hapo alafu useme tikesho naende shagari eh huwezi tu kaa you lazima utie bidi so lazima for the change that you want you must work hard to pass that particular change that you want kabisa kabisa mr hype man what do you think of this quote of this motivation what can you tell our viewers on no, these notes i will second the dj when you are saying be sure kabisa because pia sisi tungetu lala then to imagine to studio i will smell like any we need to fix and to find it in a farm so we need we so we need to win on top of the two months here to kabisa kabisa msaudi kwa tumewaambia if we personally want to see some changes in reggae tutaka wasi wa kama so we are ready to give the platform we are ready to give each and every person who's interested in reggae so we are giving the change that we want to see in the world in the reggae music in the reggae industry and in all other industries dj mm-hmm. i guess about now we're supposed to be issue na fakut flow sasa de mwisho venye nafaa is that no break no gear no nini tunaenda kaenda 